up everybody, it's Speaker Goose here and I'm coming at you with another haul video. I did get the chance to go out there on Saturday, didn't get the chance to get out there today. Today is Sunday, I've been really busy, I had to go to an event today, it's very important, that's why I'm dressed up. It's not for you guys in the video, so let's begin. The item of the week will be coming up and I promise you it's a good one. It is uh, something that I happened to stumble upon and it realized how good it was when I got it. I just knew it was going to be pretty good. but. Enough of that, you guys will find out about that later. So, to start this video off, alright guys, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I got everything today, or yesterday, for 33 bucks. It's everything total. Everything total, 33 bucks, alright guys? The first thing I want to show you is what I picked up for my own office, alright? My own storage, everything like that. you got to be looking at yard sales, and it's this right back here. All right, guys, it's just a pretty big file cabinet. It's up this Casio keyboard. You do want to look for these things, all right? Um, this is this one's not worth that much. It might be worth 30, 35, 40 on a good day, but I will make some scratch off of that. Picked up another bread and butter item. Of course, these are the Clairol rollers. If you guys are not looking for them yet, pick them up. I got this thing, dirt cheap. It's a Clairol kindness. I mean, it's not worth that much, but it's going to add up over time. I run into these all the time. I sell I sell Clairol rollers probably two to three times a month. Next item I'm going to show you guys are these vintage 1979 Tonka trucks. Okay, this one is um, kind of metal and plastic. Um, I guess they all are, really, except for this one. This one is all metal. All right, and like I said, you know, I got a big bundle at a really good price. I got everything for 33 bucks. This is part of my best thing. All right, Tonka trucks. These are not worth that much, to be honest with you. I mean, if I get 10 bucks for all three, I'll be happy. Picked up this vintage Jose Cuervo bottle. Um, it, it does look pretty cool. I mean, if you guys can see that, that's a really cool looking design on it. Has a stopper still with. These are Scuba Pro fins. If you live in an area where scuba diving's big, you want to keep your eyes out for them. I always find them cheap, and I always flip them for a good profit. These are all over the place on eBay, but it's important to realize, don't put them up for an auction. You only get 20, 25 bucks on an auction. Buy it now, or best offer, you can sell these for 45 to 60 bucks. 60 on a very good day, obviously. The last pair, same exact pair, well actually these are mediums, the last one were largest, but you get my point. I got 50 bucks. Also picked up a Sony PlayStation 2 Slim system. It's funny, you know, it go, I, I go in phases. Now I'm finding video games left and right. A month ago, I couldn't find any to save my life. But uh, this is a Slim one. It's a console only. And there's one or two people on eBay who will buy every single PlayStation 2 system. Go on and, and look at completed listings. These people buy literally tens and thousands of them every single year. Start them at 35 bucks. They will sell. And some board games here, all right? All these board games, except for the Babysitter's Club, are worth money. Um, you guys can just look and look up the board games on your own if you're curious. Don't pass up on board games, okay? Uh, I've seen so many videos where people say, you know, I picked up the board game, I went through the pieces, and it was missing a piece, so I put it down. It's not worth it. Not sure it sold board games for 40 to 50 bucks before because they're missing one piece. What I do is I go on eBay, I look for the replacement pieces, cost me four or five dollars. Yes, that is four or five dollars out of my profit. But selling all the, if I took a board game and I just sold the pieces, I might only get half of what I could get if it was a full value. If I pick up a board game for two dollars and I part out all the pieces for twenty-five dollars, I did okay. But if I pick up a board game for two dollars, spend another five dollars total, getting a missing piece or pieces, and sell it for 50, I just did a lot better. Yeah, I have more in it, but I'm getting more out of it. You know, this spending $7, getting an extra $25 out of the deal, do it. Would you rather flip a $50 item for $100? Or would you rather flip a $200 item for $600? It should be pretty obvious. It's now time for the item of the week. Last week, of course, was that Taylor guitar, which I have, a, I have a deal, I'm gonna get 250 for it, I bought it for 50. Great deal, keep your eye out for Taylor. But enough for last week. Let's move on to this week, all right? Look at this pencil, mechanical pencil. Doesn't look like much, right? $45 pencil. How did I get it at a yard sale? Well, 
There's a big Ziploc bag full of pens and, and a couple pen, mechanical pencils here and there for one dollar. So I picked it up because I actually need pencils for my office. And like I said, the file cabinet, if you have a chance to get something for your office that you need at a yard sale, do it! There's no reason not to. So I picked up the big bag and I was looking at the bag after I picked it up and I saw this little box. A box for a Parker pen. I instantly knew that for a dollar I would never, never, ever go wrong on it. If nothing else, I would use the pens inside for my own use. I did take off some of the pens for my own use. Some of the pens were other like big pens and stuff that didn't work. Just chuck them in the garbage. But this is a Pentel mechanical pencil. Right guys, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I looked up the exact uh, model, everything else, the last one, 45 bucks on eBay. But that's not it, all right guys? There's also this Pentel eraser. So I'm gonna put it with the pencil. No, I'm not gonna increase my cost on the pencil at all. This is not a, this is not a cost increasing item. This is a time decreasing item. The other mechanical pencils I managed to get are all scriptos. All right, guys, if you don't know what a scripto is, look it up. Some of them are worth money, some of them are not. Only a couple of dollars, whatever. And I also got a replacement lid. This is only worth about $3, but light everything together, I might get a little bit more. I got all three of my Parker pens there, and I'm going to put this in a lot separately from everything else. Finally, out of the items of the week are all these pens. All right, I'm going to sell the six of them in a lot. They're all named brands, but... Don't really have any duplicates. The only duplicates I have are actually the same exact calendar pens. And so I'm going to put these on a lot. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Ask any questions if you have any questions from me. Uh, more than more than willing to answer them for you guys. I'll send an email back, whatever. So uh, thanks for watching again. And stay sharp out there.